Gafaru Street, Ikotun, Lagos, Nigeria, has become a dreadful environment for its residents over the years due to consistent flooding. This has destroyed lives, properties, and businesses worth millions. This flood is said to be mainly caused by an absence of a proper drainage system and terrible road connection and construction. Residents of Gafaru Street also confirmed that for years, Despite notifying the Lagos state government officials of the dilapidated condition of the road and drainage system, nothing has since been done about it. Guardian TV was on Gafaru Street, Ikotun, Lagos to speak with families of the flood victims and they shared their experience amidst tears. My name is Esther Olariwaju. I am 13 years old. I attend Tofi Secondary School. I am presently in JSS 3. That day, my mom sent me table water. On my way back, I slept. It was my uncle that carried me up. This incident happened in June 2019. It was on June 7 precisely I fell. They rushed me to a man in the neighborhood who practiced orthopedics. After he fixed the bone to an extent, I noticed my hand was hoozing out blood and maggots. They rushed me to a general hospital. That was when they informed us the hand needed to be amputated. Hearing this, I was sad, but I had no option. I am pleading with the government to help fix my hand. This road has been damaged for a long time and we've pleaded with the government to help us repair it. One day, we suddenly saw these people. They came in numbers. They told us they were instructed to break the drainage and we're about to work on it. They told us they'll be back. That was how they broke the drainage to the end of the street. We've not seen them return since that year till date. It's been over six years they broke this drainage. We all had to use planks to gain entrance to our homes and shops. When it rains, it is difficult to differentiate the road from the potholes until the water dries up. That is when we continue our daily routine. Our mother sent her to get pure water opposite the house. That's Esther. On her way back, she slept and could not get back up. It was my son here that carried her. He called me, Mom, Mom, this girl's hand is broken. Her hand is broken. I responded, how come? We rushed her to a man in the neighborhood. My son directed me there. The man is late now. On the third day, when we got to his place, he told us the hand cannot be arranged and we should go to a hospital instead. I wept. Immediately, I gathered all the money I had on me and we all rushed to General Hospital. That had surprised me. He saw that the bone was in a terrible condition. The doctor told us he failed to raise money to amputate her arm. By the next day, she will die. We went everywhere. We also collected some loan from Gurumi. These are my children. They all went to collect the loan to eventually pay for the operation. June 11 was when they operated on her. When we were about to go into the room, because her mother was in a bad state, I had to go into the theater with her. Even after they amputated the arm, it was handed over to me. After it was handed over to me, I gave my elder sister to bear it because we instructed to bury the arm. After two weeks, we were there to clean the hand. We bought drugs and we spent a lot of money. Till now, she finds it difficult to mingle with her mates because she feels uncomfortable staying in their midst with her. Guardian TV contacted the special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Works and Infrastructure, Mrs. Aramide Adeyoye, on the deplorable state of the road, and the response was, Lagos State already has a number of road projects on its priority list before focusing on the inner axis and erosion-damaged roads. So you see a road, there are million and one roads in Lagos that are bad. And you know that the revenues are enough and not enough to fix everything. So how do you do that as a manager? You prioritize. 
you prioritize all your major materials and then you come to your inner roads. Inner roads that connect to the major materials that you have done. When you are finished the first range of major uh, inner roads, you go on to the next range of inner roads and the third range of inner roads and then you get to the very end. Is that not how to do it? Where does this road fit into? Can you do a road without an outfall? You don't know that a road, a road is as good as a drain. You don't have a drainage or an outfall. You don't know that that road is not going to survive. You by yourself said it in that report that erosion, erosion is what has got the way it is. If you don't fix that body, that erosion, don't you know that that road is not going to last? Do you want to waste taxpayers' money by not going to fix a road only for the erosion to cut it off again? You don't know that the Office of Drainage Services must first of all fix the outfall issue before you can come and do the road as the Minister of Work. This road before, it was, as you can see, it's a third road. But what happened was that, by the time they were constructing, reconstructing, Jegun Road and Abaranje Road. The, the flood was diverted to this area. So as, as, instead of them to be dig the gutter to make it, you know, to widen it or to, dig, to, to make it deep, they, they didn't do that. What they did was they just send the uh, water, the, the flood to this area. As a result, they started you know, eroding something. You can see gullies all over the place. So since that time, we've been, uh, Telling the government, by the time Fachola was there, he was aware of this something. He'd been writing letters, letter upon letter to them. There was a time that he sent uh, this uh, what flyer, that uh, this call information, what's the name? Drone to collect. But they would just, they would, we, we've tried all other possible, but nothing fruitful come out of it. A apart from this girl, the, the, there was a woman there. The leg was affected. Even the, I learned that this thing has uh, eroded one. Uh, one, 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 one girl like that. They, they couldn't get the girl. If it's rain, if you cannot just stay. Even the children will not go to school. We are just appealing to them. We are begging them. They should come to our aid. They come and help us. I mean, we, we, we dig the gutter at the same time, tie the road. <laughs>